Hey guys, I'm John Setzler. Welcome back to Atlanta Grill Company. Today we're going to move into phase three of our three-part pizza video series. We're going to use the same ingredients we've used before. We're going to adjust the amount of yeast and we're going to make a 72-hour cold fermented pizza dough that's going to have a beautiful flavor. If you guys are watching on Facebook, how about giving us a thumbs up? And if you're watching on YouTube, how about hitting the subscribe button? And then click the bell icon so you can get an update each time we publish a new video. Let's get started. We're going to start out just like we have before. I've got 500 grams of all-purpose flour in the base of my stand mixer here. And I've got 10 grams of kosher salt. I'm just going to take that and give that a quick whisk together. And I'll give you the uh, equivalent volume measurements in the video description here. And then I've got my water. I've got 300 grams of room temperature water and I've got a half a gram here of active dry yeast. I'm just going to take that yeast, dump it in the water, and I'm going to use my whisk to uh, get that yeast dissolved in the water. And I'm going to put the dough hook in my mixer, turn it on the slow speed, and then I'm just going to drizzle my yeast water into the bowl of the mixer. And once I have all of that water in there, I'm going to let it continue to mix here until it comes together. And after that dough comes together into a shaggy mass like that, I'm going to let it knead here on the slow speed for about eight minutes. And after about eight minutes of running in the mixer, your dough is going to come together and look like this, and it's going to be pulling away cleanly from the sides of the bowl. So I'm just going to stop the mixer and we're going to lower the bowl back down and we'll get our dough out. So I've got my dough out here and I'm just going to do like we've done before. I'm just going to turn it and kind of form it into a tight ball with a, a tight skin across the top. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. And I'm just going to pinch that together at the bottom. And I'm going to use a, a tub today to put this dough in. I've greased this guy. I'm going to put it in skin side down and kind of roll it around a little bit and then flip it over and I'm gonna pop the lid on here and from here you've got two options we can you can go straight to the refrigerator if you want I like to leave mine out on the counter for about an hour before I go to the refrigerator and to give you a time frame here it is currently approximately noon on Saturday so this is gonna go in the refrigerator until Tuesday I'm going to pull it out of the refrigerator around noon on Tuesday and give it four or five hours to acclimate to room temperature and I'll also at that time break it down into two balls of dough. I'll shape those and we'll let those uh, rise up at room temperature for four or five hours before we cook on Tuesday evening. Tuesday has arrived and my dough, I just took this out of the refrigerator so I'm going to take this out of our container that I was using in the fridge. I'm going to set this on my work surface here and I'm just going to take my bench knife and roughly split this into two pieces since I'm going to use two dough balls here. I'm just going to make one pizza today but we have to get this out get it ready to go. So what I want to do is roughly shape this guy into a ball. This is really stiff because it's cold and I just want to do you know like we do. You've seen me do this many times before. So what I'm going to do is take that and just form you know kind of a tight a tight skin like that. So I'm going to take our dough ball and I'm going to put it just in a greased container here and I'm going to hit that 
with just a little bit of cooking spray there to keep it from forming a skin across the top. And then I'm just going to put the lid on it and we're going to let this sit out here at room temperature for four to five hours. I'm about an hour and a half away from being ready to cook. So I'm going to go ahead and get a fire going here in the Alpha. I'm going to light up some starter paper there and get some kindling going and we're going to get a nice big fire blazing in this thing so we can get it really hot. All right, I've got a blazing hot fire going in there. It's kind of windy today. I'm going to put the door in front of it and I'll just maintain this guy and keep it nice and hot till we're ready to cook. Okay, our oven's good and hot and my dough is ready to go. So I'm gonna throw out some flour here on my work surface and I'm gonna get my dough out, sprinkle a little bit of flour on the top of that and then I'm just gonna work on shaping my pizza. Okay, I've got that dough stretched so I'm gonna get it up onto my peel and then we're gonna put this pizza together right here on the peel. And I'm going to start it out with some sauce. And then we're going to add some grated parm or some grated mozzarella. And then we'll put some of our favorite pepperoni in place. And then we'll take this guy down to the grill. Okay, I've got this oven nice and hot and my deck temperature is running over 900 degrees so we're going to get this pizza in and I'm just gonna let you sit here and watch with me while we cook that I'm gonna see if I can do it we've got wind here today which is definitely not helping run this oven That pizza's going to cook very quickly. We're going to turn it using the turning peel. Oops. That will get away from me a little bit. See all that spotting? Look at that. This guy's almost done. It's done, so... What'd that take? I want you to have a look at that. We're going to have a closer look at this here in just a moment. Okay, guys. This pizza is beautiful. Let's see if I can show you the bottom. Look at that. That's nearly perfect. I'm not the world's best at these uh, Neapolitan style quick cook pizzas. I've done a few of them and they, I get better and better each time I go. So I'm gonna cut this one and we'll have a little closer look. Okay guys, here it is. This guy's finished. This is going to be dinner tonight here at the man cave so you've got a really easy way here now to make three pizza doughs you've got a quick dough 24 hour dough and a 72 hour dough you've got a dough for every occasion and when you can go the 72 hours i highly recommend it because that extra flavor development you get from the long slow cold ferment is definitely worth it so that's our three pizzas. I was going to stop this series at three, but I have decided we're going to have two more videos in this series. I've decided to go ahead, since I've shown you this, I'm going to show you how to do a 24-hour sourdough pizza. And then I'm going to show you how, when you make dough, how to freeze what you don't use so you can use it again. So until next time, this is John Setzler with Atlanta Grill Company.